Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the makeup for New Year's. This is full on glam. This is glitter. This is eyeliner, fake lashes. We're going to go in in today's video. And I'm going to show you absolutely everything from skin, from complexion, all the way to lips and glow. If you're interested to see how I've created this look, then please keep on watching. Starting with a hydrating primer. This is a great base if you have dry skin. Right now, skin is a bit dry, so I know this is gonna be good. Moving on with this foundation from House Lab. This is an amazing foundation. It's light, but it has a really good coverage. And the reason why I'm using this is because I've recently bought the concealer. When I was in New York last week, I bought the concealer and I just think that together they're going to be the perfect match because I really like the foundation and I wanted to try the concealer. I haven't used the foundation in a while, actually. It's such a good match in terms of color for this time of year because you know the skin color kind of changes do you see how well this covers but still having that skin like finish and it's nice it's long lasting it's natural but you know still performing really well let's get it on the forehead this is a makeup by mario brush and I really like it, actually. I like both sides. By the way, you guys, I've tried this product. This is a lip hydro plump treatment from Clinique. The moment I've put this on, my lips were so dry and you know that I use, I have everything you could possibly imagine. The moment I've put this on when I came to the studio, I was like, wait, what? really good i don't know if you could find it in sephora it might be only in sephora friends but if you have the chance it's a great product okay so foundation and all is on and i'll be honest with you don't apply a product you've never applied before especially when it comes to complexion products before an important event but i'm here to practice things for you so this is house labs concealer my foundation shade is 210 light medium neutral and my concealer shade is 11 light neutral now i have to say i love the applicator however you gotta be careful when you pull it out not to spill what i don't like it is that it's a little bit of a struggle to put it back on now I'm going to take the other side of this brush, spread the concealer. This is beautiful. It's actually super natural, super natural. I need to apply a little bit more. And here's what I like to do. I don't think I've ever showed you this trick. So the second time, if I have really dark circles, or if my concealer doesn't have like crazy pigmentation, I will do one very thin layer and then I will do a second layer only where I have that most problematic area for me is right here. And I kind of dab it in and not blend it all the way. I kind of let it sit there for a couple of seconds. You see, just I just let it sit there. Meanwhile, I'll spread this guy. I also got this palette from New York. I'm probably going to use this powder. This is a Master Eye Prep and Set. And this is a light version. I don't need uh, color correcting, but in theory, it's great. I need to test it. I got Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. I got two shades, light and light medium. And I, yeah, I think I'm more of a light medium. 
I'm going to take this BK Beauty 107 brush. It's nice, it's synthetic. And I'm going to bronze a bit higher. So I kind of want to bronze like this, right? I need to test this product on bare skin because right now it's like it's a good product, but I I don't see the crazy hype about it. Maybe the fact that it's so so incredibly soft and and gentle in terms of the pigmentation, it's like a balm. Okay, now I take back that brush and spread the concealer. The fact that you give your concealer a few seconds, even like a few, a couple of minutes before you completely blend it, it's just going to improve its coverage capacity because it, it, it will dry a bit. This concealer is good. There are so many good concealers on the market. I love how it made my under eyes look nice and smooth. Okay, I got this one size cheek clapper 3D blush trio. And this is in Attention Seeker. Now, this is pretty intense. It's like Barbie pink. But I have to tell you something. My trick whenever, and this is something that I don't think I've ever shared. Whenever I do a client's makeup, I always mix cool tone and warm tone blush. So there must be some kind of coolness to my blush, no matter what. It could be on top of the warm blush or it could be under. It really depends on how I see it uh, on that person, but I always do this mixture. So this is something that I've noticed it looks amazing, it, it looks very natural, the blush won't fade. So I took, I think this is an old MAC brush and I always like to get the, you see that coolness? It's very, very cool tone. But I like to start with this and I'm going to apply this higher like so. Just trust me on this. Then I'm going to set everything with the one size on till dawn. Now, listen, I'm so sorry I got the travel size. I had no time to go get the full size. I honestly didn't get a lot of time to do anything in a New York because the, the schedule was pretty full. But if there was one product that I wish I got full size in a couple of them, it would have been this because I've tried it and it's fantastic. The spray, the longevity of your makeup after this. So right after I'm done with my cream products, I'm gonna spray. Then I'm going to set everything with powder and I'm going to use two powders. This is Huda Beauty and this is Prisme Libre from Givenchy. I always do this mixture. And the reason why I like this mixture is because this is great under eyes and this is great all over. Although the Huda Beauty really works great everywhere, but the Givenchy one, I wouldn't use it all over the face, honestly. I'm going to take a small brush, like a small blending brush to set my concealer. Then I'm going to take a powder puff. This one is from Huda Beauty, but you can get these on Amazon. And I'm going to press the powder, the one from Huda Beauty, everywhere my pores are super large. For me, it's going to be on the cheek, like in the middle, around on my nose. I'm using the color 
cupcake also i've got really large pores right here you know the typical acne prone skin that's where we usually have large pores and then in between my eyebrows but i kind of like to set my whole forehead because the forehead is the first thing that's going to look like a like a skating surface this is Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil and we are going to do the eyebrows. So I have this clean beauty blender. I'm just gonna make sure there is not powder on my eyebrows. It's just not something I like. And then medium brown from Anastasia. And I just try, try to fill in the gaps first. This eyebrow has a lot of personality compared with the other one. Brush them through. And now I take an eyebrow pen. This one is from Anastasia. This eyebrow pen is going to give me a bit more dimension. It's going to make the eyebrows look more realistic. Now I'm going to use this Milk Kush Fiber Brow. Again, just to give me more dimension. This is in the shade Dub and it's slightly warmer because honestly, I thought this one was taupe, but it's actually ebony. It's a little bit darker than I wanted it to be, but we're gonna roll with it. Now I wanna talk about some amazing eyeshadow palettes that you could use for New Year's or whenever you have a party. And this is one example. I love this Ethereal Eyes from Makeup by Mario. This is one stunning palette. I love every single shade. I love that it's not too dark. It's not too warm. It's just perfect. Uh, another eyeshadow palette that I think it's Stunning, stunning, stunning is this one from Lancome. This one right here, you guys, wow. What is the name of this one? I got it in their advent calendar. This is the French Nude Hypnose Palette, 01 French Nude. Do you guys remember that shade Gleam that they don't make anymore from Anastasia Beverly Hills? It's like that. It's so hard to find this the, this exact consistency, this exact glide, this exact color, I'm telling you, I know a, a good nude when I see one. In comparison, I'm going to, I'm going to swatch this one. So you'll see this is a lot more, it's like, it's not as buttery because it's very different, right? This is a lot more glittery. This is very buttery. This is very much glitter and you see, in the pan, it looks different. On the skin, it's like mm, gorgeous, gorgeous, but different. I'm just showing you different uh, eyeshadow palettes. Another one that I really love, the mini starlet powder from, palette, sorry, from Natasha Denona. This is again, beautiful. You can see that I love the nudes. I'm gonna swatch this one because I think it's very, very special. It's, uh, it's a dual chrome. Wow, how gorgeous is this how gorgeous is this it has blue and it has brown it is just wow i'm in love with it two eyeshadow toppers that i just had to talk about urban decay space called cowboy i don't think we have urban decay in france anymore i think they they left france because i haven't seen them Look at that. Look at that. This shade. And then the, the other one that I have that I just bought from New York, this is Cosmic. And if you have Diamond Bomb from Fenty, you don't need this. I'm gonna show you here. So this is like a beautiful, wet, frosty topper that you could use literally on top of anything. I ended up choosing this palette 
because I think it's so gorgeous. And I'm going to take this shade here. This is just a 217 blending brush from MAC. The good old. I'm gonna take this warmer shade at the end of the eye. Just to lift a bit the corner. I really like to take my time when I do the blending. So most of the times we're going to cut this part because it's just so boring. You see me doing the same movement for like three minutes, but it's just really that important to blend. I like to take a clean brush, same shade on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take a little bit of concealer on a flat brush. This one is from Katie and Spectrum 09. Just a little bit of concealer and I'm going to make this more of a sharp line. Notice how I barely touch it. And then I go down when it's just too uh, precise and the contrast is too much, I don't like it. When it has a little bit of that contrast, it's okay. I'm going to take back the blending brush. I don't want this to be too intense. And with my finger, I'll take this shade. And I will mix it with a little bit of gold because I actually want it to be more golden than champagne. Now I'm going to, this is the Satin Kajal Jewel Liner from Victoria Beckham, Gold Lame. And I will get this on the lower waterline. I just love what it does, what it does there. Again, I take that small brush and I go with the brown all along the lower lash line. I think that this needs a bit of contrast, so I'll use eyeliner. This one is from Fenty. And it's gonna be just a baby flick. Okay, so notice how I didn't follow my natural kind of line. I went a little bit higher because I wanted to lift the eye to make it more like, like kind of, you know, dreamy and a little bit sleepy, but I'm not sure sleepy is the right word, but just a little bit more. The eyeliner is not like the typical, the typical winged shade. It's more straight. And I think that makes it very modern. Next, I'm going to use the Lashify system. For those of you who don't know, I'm going to link here an older video, but it's still amazing. I think you can see in detail what I'm doing. These lashes, you can keep them up to 10 days or like two weeks. And I can tell you this, honestly, they're kind of supposed to uh, replace your lash extensions. For those of you who do lash extensions, these are going to be great replacements because you could do them at home. They're cheaper um, if you think about the long run and uh, it's a lot faster to do it. So it comes with a whisper light flexible bond. First you, you need to have your 
lashes clean. I have cleaned them. Not obviously not amazing because I have makeup on. But we're gonna do one coat of this. Let this dry. Use the other side. And these lashes, you apply them under. Not on top of your lashes. And I'm going to use the style SB. So at the end of my lashes, I think I'm going to apply SB 14. And I'm going to take them out of the gossamer, I think this is called, with my uh, fingers. And then I'll take the tweezers with the curl towards me. And they just apply incredibly easy. A bit more of that glue. And one more of the 14. So I have two 14. These are not as long as I thought they will be. Third. They're kind of spiky, I guess that's, that's what I love about them. And now I'm going to do 12. And one more 12. So I have 314, SB14, and 212. Okay, now I'm going to press them together. I actually ended up taking off the 12 one that I had right here and replaced it with a 10. So I have 314, 112, and 110. Okay, so this is what it looks like. No mascara, right? It's just like beautiful lashes. I am going to apply mascara on my lower lashes. Now, when I take my makeup off, if I want to keep these, I would use, you know, micellar water all around the eye without touching the lashes. Ideally, it would be for you to use a, a makeup remover that doesn't have oil. Now, let's get some mascara on the lower lashes. This is Westman Atelier Mascara. Now the last step for these lashes, you need to use the, I think this is called Crystal Clear or something like that, just for the lashes, for them to not feel sticky. Eyes are done. Now I'm going to go back to the skin. I'll use the Shantikai Real Bronze in Sirena or Serena. I've talked about this bronzer before. The reason why this is so special is because of this amazing color. So this is more beigey. It doesn't have that typical warmth. So for example, if you are, look at this. It's such a beautiful bronze, oh my god. It has a beautiful skin-like color. And it's not matte, so if you're looking for something that is slightly luminous, then you're gonna love this. This is a Refer 06 brush. Remember when I told you I like to go with a cool tone blush and then on top of it apply something warm well this is my warm tone it's from valentino number no. nine this is gorgeous especially on light light medium skin tones yes okay this lip treatment from clinique Wow, completely healed my lips in less than two hours. Wonder Skin, this is called 360 Contour Lip Liner. The shade I'm going to use is Saddle. This is made in USA and they're super long lasting. Wow. 
wow this is so creamy and i love the shade then i will apply this slim lipstick this is from ysl and i'll just use it a little bit to make my lip warmer this is gorgeous you see how it just gave me a little bit of that caramel oh, love and now this is gonna be your new obsession candy glaze lipstick this is like the best juicy lip it has a little bit of shimmer in it just wait last but not least i'm going to apply this glowy stick from victoria beckham beauty and i will take a damp beauty blender or just any hydrophilic sponge trust me this is so much better than doing it like this directly on your skin and then i will just bounce it like so look at this gorgeous glow it gives you wet glow this product a little bit on the nose top of the eyebrows and i'm gonna spray one more time with this one size my ladies this is your new year's makeup i love how it turned out this is definitely my type of makeup with beautiful, soft, warm tones, but not too warm uh, and a little bit of contrast. I love to wear lashes from time to time, but definitely not on a daily basis. That That's just not my vibe. This lipstick you have to try. I, ah, I, I should have showed you what it looks like on its own because it's gorgeous on its own let me tell you exactly the shade it is 121 this i love also if you are a lip line lover <laughs> you will appreciate this one from wonder skin all of their pencils are amazing i love their eye pencil now their lip pencils i've tried them and i am really impressed with them i also have these two shades that i think are fantastic if you don't have anything similar this is very much like it's a little nars wanted palette in in this one i you guys know that nars wanted palette is like my most favorite of all time but this is quite fantastic as well so oh for darker skin tones this cutie right here i'm it's so lovely it's so beautiful this is the mini the baby bronze palette it's so cute i mean everything else i think you know love the concealer i can really tell what the concealer is like after a few hours from my experience i don't have to wear the the concealer you know three weeks in order to tell if it's a good product or not this is really good i think you're going to like it i still have to test i haven't tested yet I have to test Makeup by Mario and Kosas. Each one I got in two shades because I wasn't sure. I have a lot of makeup that I have to show you that I bought from the US, so stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed this look. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Happy New Year. I don't know when I'm gonna post this video, <laughs> but if I don't see you until next year, Happy New Year. As usual, everything that I've mentioned is in the description down below. My beautiful blazer that has these amazing sleeves that actually stay on their own because they have elastic is from Cos, and I will link it in the description. I think it's just the perfect holiday item to have if you don't know what to wear because white is always very festive and very chic. Necklaces are from Cinco, so are the these cuties. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.